Hey fam, welcome back to another video. This is educational code for this round 149 and we're gonna solve the third problem that is best binary string. So let's quickly see what the problem states. The problem states that you will be given a binary string. A binary string means what? It can be either 0 or 1. Binary means 2, so 0 or 1 you will have. And also you can have a question mark also. So it is like a regular expression, okay? The string can be like 0, 1, 0 and you can have question mark what they are telling is if you have something like question mark you can replace it with zero or one so suppose question mark question mark zero one comes means you can be like zero 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 one question mark can be one one zero one or question mark can be one zero zero one anything okay but you can't cut this it cannot be like zero one or it cannot be like one zero one this whole number of uh numbers in the string number of elements in the input should be same as number of elements in the output but the question mark can be replaced you cannot replace it randomly because uh, that's not the question about uh, but let's see what the catch is the catch is let's define the cost of the binary string as the minimum number of operations to form reverse an arbitrary contiguous substring of the string required to sort the string in non-decreasing order okay too much english here so what does it simply say so if i have something like one zero zero one zero i can take any subsegment any subarray substring means a continuous set of numbers you can reverse that if you reverse it the cost of it is one one time if you want you can take the whole subarray and reverse it the cost becomes two again if you do the same operation the cost becomes three so for example it should after doing all of this operation it should be in the non-decreasing order non-decreasing is what either elements can be same or in the increasing order that's all so here uh, it is not non-decreasing right see one zero it is decreasing here itself so what is the best way we can do we'll just try out here so one zero you can swap right uh, now this is not the explanation this is what we read from the question one zero you swap so one zero 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 one okay again here this thing again i can swap right one one zero 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 again i can swap this zero 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 one one so i sorted it but i took around three operations can i say i can reduce it to some di uh, different operation zero zero one zero Okay, what do I do? I can simply take this and let's say 0, 1, I can reverse it, right? 0, 0, 1. Now, what do I do? Probably I can swap this 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. See, here I took 1, 2, 3 operation. Here in 2 operations itself, I got non decreasing order. But the thing is, you don't have to do all of this. What you have to do, let's see. Now, they told this, like, this is the operation about. They tell that whatever be the minimum value, we should take this. Now, you have to find a binary string with the minimum possible cost among those that match uh, among those that match the given pattern. If there are multiple answers, you print any of them. See, this here, the best value is 2. But uh, if it is something like, if it is possible to form an array like 1111, what is the best value? It is 0, right? You don't have to swap at all. If it is uh, 1 0, what is the best value? You just have to swap only once you may say that okay zero i'll swap alone and one i'll swap alone there will be two operations so the best value is like how do you form an array to form a best value suppose if they give everything as question mark what what all the values you can do you can do one zero one zero also valid but it will take around two or three operations to make it sorted that is not decreasing order but if i do everything as zero 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 then it is only zero operations now so this operation we need to minimize so for this let's quickly see what the example states then we'll try to find out here you see question mark question mark zero one question mark question mark can be anything they did instead of question mark question mark you did zero zero and this is one so with uh, the cost of resulting string is zero you don't have to swap uh, you don't have to reverse anything if it is already there you can't do anything best so that is the best string you put it directly now if it is something like this they tell that uh, you just put everything with one and here they just kept one they are then if you read it uh, they are just telling uh, what we can after this string we can reverse the substring of first character to fifth character one two three four five so this one if they reverse it will be zero all will be ones right see zero all uh, this is for second test case that is already done so we are not doing so if this is the case from first one to zero i can take and zero i'll start and all will be ones so in one operation i can do it that's why they optimally chose something like that now uh, let's try to solve this problem one question mark question mark one zero question mark one question mark question mark one zero question mark so if i do one zero zero one zero one 
definitely the value will be more in question they gave one 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 this all they did okay one zero one now what i do i do is i simply swap the sub array that means reverse it zero one 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 this is already there i reversed it okay i reversed all of this this is already sorted what if are there any other possibilities there are possibilities so i put all ones here and zero and question mark this zero if i do this in one operation i can do zero zero one 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 okay here also one operation here also one operation these both are valid no problem so if uh, now coming to the second one second one we can't do anything because uh, the case is it's already everything is done okay you can't replace any character so whatever be the number you directly write it and here this is one more example that you can figure out so what did we observe here one thing is if all the numbers if 1010 is already written that will be the best answer if all are question mark if all are question mark the best possible way is either put all 111000 because to make it non uh, sorted non descending order uh, this will be the best value but what if mix comes 10 question mark 10 question mark or something like question mark comes how do you solve it so uh, let's imagine for a simple case like 10 question mark question mark can be 1 or 0 it can be 0 right see uh, in this case i need to definitely reverse this number right this zero should definitely go to the left so can i tell that along with this they are not counting number of elements they are counting only number of operations so along with this if i make this zero instead of this guy alone i'll put him in the same train if he's catching one train to reverse it this guy will also join if question mark comes again this guy will join that's all now uh, let's say that it is uh, something like one question mark okay one question mark uh, zero here should i put zero i should not put zero right here one should definitely go to the right side zero should come and one should go here zero is also not possible if i put one here one one zero it will be zero one one this is also possible if i put zero here what happens zero here means i'll shift please shift this but this became too complex we can't generalize anything so what do we do whoever is coming with me i'll check whether my friend is also coming with me on the train or not so if i put one i can simply put one here and see whether this can go to the same train or not that means it can be reversed or not so in this case uh, let's see that so if it is uh, question mark so for example we can take uh, this only directly one question mark question mark 10 question mark one question mark question mark 10 question mark zero is at uh, one is here zero is at bottom so zero should definitely come on the left side so i say that hey i am zero uh, i will be going so whatever be the number i'll put the same number here that is zero so if he goes he will also go but what if this is question mark so if one is having any change this one can also have a change right i'll put one here i am not putting say zero because zero may or may not go to the left or right but if this guy has any other change this guy will also have that change so i'll put one here this also one here that's all the question is not uh, about uh, arriving the solution i think they want to judge more on the implementation side because you can see it's very easy right by seeing this itself i can see okay this is very easy nothing might be there so how do you implement it suppose if it's question mark 0 1 you say that okay from the right element i can put 0 but if it is like 0 1 question mark i can't check it is right it is on the left element so what should we do in that case so for that we'll understand with the help of a simple example that is from the code so what did i do i simply put a character as a dummy array okay one question mark question mark 10 okay this is one example so in the first case if uh, c c is equal to dollar means uh, c is a character that means whether uh, any other character other than question mark is come has come or not in the for loop so if uh, s of i is equal to equal to question mark is it, it is a question mark right but c is equal to dollar that means that i don't have any other friend coming with me right now 1 or 0 is not there so i just kept dollar now if s of i is not equal to question mark this is right there here it is not equal to question mark now c becomes what it becomes 1 found means i'm just checking some number is there so found is already some number it is one now c is what one now here question mark came question mark came c is not equal to dollar s of i this question mark will be updated to one whatever happens with one this also will be one similarly question mark come whatever happens with one this also will be one 
this also one directly i can skip it's not a number now zero came zero comes means not equal to question mark c becomes zero on the next iteration what happens on the next iteration if question mark comes i simply put zero so whatever change zero is going through my friend also will go through that is zero that's all if you put one here the operation might be increased see suppose let's say one 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 zero question mark if you put one here how much operation will it take uh zero one i i need to iterate this one 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 zero i reverse then everything i reverse together right but if i put one 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 zero here if i put zero in one operation i can put all in a sorted order here i took two or three operations so that's the catch whatever is my friend whatever is the adjacent number you just put the same number so in this case also we kept zero but what happened is there is one more question mark remaining for that from left to right same thing apply from right to left you make the c as dollar again and uh, zero c is what uh, c is zero now again zero now one 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 c is one now c, c, that is c is one zero one 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 that is here found will be increasing as well okay and uh, if s of i is question mark we simply say that s of i is c now this also will be c now you got now one 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 zero now found not equal to zero that means what found not equal to zero means okay there are some question marks in it i already formed the array i updated in real time string so i simply printed s and if found is zero means what everything is question mark everything is question mark means the c will always be dollar there are no zero or ones always will be dollar means you can simply either print all zeros or all ones that's all guys so i hope uh, you found it useful and uh, the submission is here and uh, if you have any other doubts please feel free to uh, drop in the comments and if you have any feedback also please share thanks